Wait, 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 wait. So his buyback is 3,300 gold. He has 3,200. He puts his boots of travel here so that if they delete it, his buyback is cheaper. They pick up his boots and his buyback goes to 3,100 gold. And he has buyback because they're holding his boots. Oh my, Stephen Hawking is still alive. He's playing Dota. Here we are. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Herald Dota 2 review. Uh, this was submitted by The Black Knight, which is a gentleman who has submitted some of the most legendary Herald replays that I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know what I'm jumping into. I don't know what to expect. So let's just get into it uh, and get into this replay. Pre places the sentry, my boy. Very nice. I I like that. Pudge going for the hook onto the high ground, and he fucking nails it. Very good. He's stuck. That's what you get. Goes for the high five. All right. Yeah, baby. And he just walks away because level one rod is fucking pathetic. God, this is solid gameplay. This is nice Pudge gameplay. Oh, yeah. Fake the hook. Fake the hook. All right. Let's see if we can get it. No, we're just going to keep standing here. Keep standing here. Walk around slowly. Stand in the trees. Oh, here we go. Are we going to throw? Nope. We're just going to keep walking around. We're going over to this tree line. See if we can get a better angle. Oh, behind the log? They're not going to expect me behind here. This log is very... I'm very subtle behind... Oh, fuck. My carry's dying. And the carry goes down while he was just walking around trying to hit a hook. Very good. I can understand that high... Oh, he's high-fiving. Okay. Oh, big boy in the house. Let's see. Let's see the solid gameplay coming out. <laughs> They're pinging him. He's like, dude, there's a pudge right fucking there, bro. And it is going to work, it looks like. Yep. Very solid gameplay. And he goes down for it, but that is 100% worth it. Oh, that was a nice sneeze. Pick that up. Hey, don't fucking litter. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Very nice. Pudge, once again, just wandering around. Finds the Drow Ranger. Surely he should be fine here. Uh, okay. I have no idea what's going on. Who's winning this? Monkey King is winning this. That that would be the answer to the question here. Okay, that was definitely good for the dire. We all win. Oh, oh, techies! My boy! Barely. Oh my god, imagine being a, a, a Monkey King who just got a rampage, and your fucking useless Pudge is the one that survives. <laughs> Dude, it's just... I used to do this on Pudge. I used to think this was so fucking good. Just standing there, it's like, dude, if the enemies, if the enemies walk past this location, they're getting fucking hooked. And little does he realize he's just standing directly on a fucking ward. <laughs> like, they just see this idiot standing across the river. Ah, uh -huh, there are observer and sentry wards there. I don't know how that happened. Is he gonna, is he gonna find, what, surely somebody's gonna pick these. He's gonna see those. Dude, he just... Okay, what? Bro, that's fucking worth it. I just want to point out, by the way, that was the Radiant Sentry Ward that was just used to deward that Observer Ward. So that's 226 extra gold that Pudge got for stealing their wards. <sighs> Spirit Breaker went Tranquil Boots, Shadow Blade, Dagon 3 into Spirit Vessel. I mean, this is big damage. That is a Techie's Moon Shard. Is he seriously prepping when he's level 16 for the 25 talent? Oh my fuck. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. 
He gave it to Drow. Dude, no tail did that at TI. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, Mars might be giving him a freebie here. It looks like he is. Who do we give the ags to? Yo, give it to Pudge. Give the ags to Pudge. Let's fucking go. Ah, he stole it. <laughs> he stole the ags. Fuck yeah. Drow has a gem. Okay. Uh, yo, I think you're, I think you, you're missing something, bro. I, uh, I feel like he probably wants that back at some point. I don't know. I honestly forgot there was a Monkey King in this game, if I'm being honest. Because this just keeps happening to him, so... Oh, he got feared into the mines. That is not good. Although he is... Somehow tanky enough to survive everything and then kill the enemies. Uh, is this mine stack going to be how they hold out? It's looking like that might be the case. Oh, that's not good. That They were trying to bait the mines, not the SF ult. All right, Drow is alive. SF? SF has ult? He's going to ult Pudge. Yep. Uh, where's PA? Oh, he's just in base. I see. Very nice. Now he's dead. Dude, this Drow? Oh my god, there's a Claymore, an Aghanim Scepter, a Cheese. There's fucking everything on this ground here. Surely he dies, right? He's fine. Okay, Techie's picked up the Claymore. I'm so confused by what's happening with this Claymore. Holy shit. A, there's a lot there's a dude, there's a lot of items on the ground. What the fuck? Alright, very nice ult. Oh boy. I don't know how much Pudge cares. Yeah, he looks like he's chilling here. Alright, where's this claymore at? Where is it? Alright, Pango has it. Wait, wait, where did it go? It, it disappeared from his inventory. Drow's never gonna find that! Why would you put it there? What in God... You think these dinosaurs want the fucking Claymore? What are they gonna do with a sword, dude? Dude, this is just a game of, like, dropped items. And it's always this guy. He's just... just... Just items galore on the fucking ground. Like, all game. Wait, wait, the claymore's gone. Who took the claymore? Ignoring the game, it doesn't matter. Dude, PA is just like, what the fuck? I thought this was a neutral item. What kind of idiot drops a claymore? Oh my god, and then he hides it. Just delete it! You can see who owns it! What? I, I gotta keep my eyes on this. Like, does it go missing again? Does somebody move it? Oh my god, he... Alright, so Pudge... Pudge finds it here. So, oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, free item. Alright. And he's like, I'll, I'll leave this as a sacrifice to get Roshan to spawn. And then a big scary cow walks in, so he walks away. Oh, then he hides it over here. I see. So he also opts not to delete it. He's just letting the item live out its life. As his fucking Mars dies, he's distracted by the Claymore. PA pings it. And he puts it down again. If they delete the Claymore, the buyback is cheaper. If they delete the Claymore, the buyback is cheaper. I cannot figure out what is going on in this Drow's head. Every... Oh, these items are always end up on the ground somehow. I don't know what is going on with that. Why? Has been Wait, I...
Wait, 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 wait. So his buyback is 3,300 gold. He has 3,200. He puts his boots of travel here so that if they delete it, his buyback is cheaper. They pick up his boots and his buyback goes to 3,100 gold. And he has buyback because they're holding his boots. Oh my fucking God. This guy's not even a smurf. He's just a literal fucking Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking is still alive. He's playing Dota. Oh my God. Dude, and he buys back. It actually worked. I am speechless. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. The claymore is gone. He deletes it. Finally, we have reached the... Uh, the claymore has been put out of its misery. The adventure is over. The claymore gets to, to sleep its eternal sleep. And now the drow has even less net worth. So my boy 100% would have buyback if not for the cooldown. Oh my god, look how slow he is. He's gonna get the outpost. Why, dude? Oh. <laughs> the game ending fight is occurring, and you're just here getting the outpost slowly waddling. See how buyback a monkey? He does not have buyback. Okay. Dude, look at all the evades. Ooh, okay. Long hook. Finally, it comes into play. Wow, okay, so he dude, he just has the mines just in the right place. Jesus! I'm just watching this, I'm thinking there's a good metaphor for life. You just have these mines slowly marching towards you. Like, do you guys ever think that, that life is just a video game where the bosses are your genetics? Like, some people have, like, depression built into their genetics. Some people have addiction. Some people have cancer built into their genetics. And the question is, will you be high level enough to beat the boss at the time it comes in your life? And at some point, there will be a boss that comes that you will not be high level enough to beat. At some point. I was thinking that at the gym the other day. And I was like, fuck! What's gonna be the boss that takes me down? Can you die of having a dick that's too big? Probably not. I'd probably be dead already. Anyway. It was Drow Range who was somehow back here. He was killing Pudge and healing to full HP. He was also BKB'd. Roll is coming out. Drow goes down to the PA. Got another Requiem. Very nice. PA somehow doesn't die even though he's right on top of it. That's how little damage that spell does at this point. Pudge versus Spirit Breaker. Who wins this epic battle of the fatties? Um, it looks like Pudge, because he's got Skyrath to help him. Alright, Pango went down. <laughs> One more for the road. Hits the hook. Very nice. Clearing up those mines as well. Techies doesn't even bother buying back. He's like, it's fucking over, guys. It's over. I don't even know what this blue circle is, but... One more blue circle thing for the road. Oh, is that the Arcanist armor? I have no idea. You ever pee on your balls? I'll pee on your balls. That sounds like sexual harassment. I didn't mean that. 